Eight signs the universe sends when you're on the wrong path. You know more than you think you do. If you're sad, sick, or secretive all the time, then your life is probably not going in the right direction. But if you're willing to be brave and follow your heart, with the appropriate amount of caution, of course, then you can find a direction that's better for you. Now keep watching for eight signs the universe sends you you're on the wrong path. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can join in on all the bestie fun. That way, you'll never miss one of our awesome videos and you can stay up to date with everything from your number one bestie. Number eight, check your first thoughts. Our subconscious is way smarter than we are. The next time you're thinking about your future, notice the first thing you think about, that tiny first flicker of emotion before you start to consciously justify your decision. If it's a bad feeling, then that's worth thinking about. Source, someone who ignored that bad feeling many times and found that it was always a bad idea. Number seven, what will other people think? Of course you make some decisions to impress others. That's the thing that keeps you from going to work in your elephant footy pajamas with a bottle of Smirnoff in your hand. But if you're making huge decisions like buying a house, deciding on a partner, or choosing a career based on trying to impress peers or parents, you'll probably end up impressively unhappy. Number six, unhappy go lucky. We're not saying that you have to be happy all the time. If anyone tells you that, they're just flat out wrong. But if you're miserable more than half the time, you might want to renegotiate with yourself, whether it's making different choices or seeking some kind of professional help. Recognize any of these signs yet? Well, keep watching as we continue to count down to the number one sign that the universe sends you when you're on the wrong path. And make sure you stick around to the very end because we'll show you three bonus tips about what you can do to get yourself in the right direction when you start to feel like life isn't going in the exact direction you would like to go in. Number five, playing defense. If you're chronically defending your choices to other people and yourself, then that's a sign that you're driving up the highway to Miseryville, population, you. Sometimes you're just surrounded by really judgmental people, in which case I'd recommend ditching them instead. Number four, liar, liar. If you feel like you're constantly having to lie to other people or yourself about important things, that's a real red flag. It means that either you're not happy with your life or you don't trust people around you enough to tell them about it. If you notice that you're lying to people about even the smallest things, you really need to start looking deep into yourself to find out why it is that you're lying. There may be some deep-rooted, unresolved issue that you've not dealt with that's making you lie. Number three, sick and tired. Yes, chronic sadness and stress can make us physically ill. That's because stress triggers the immune system to turn on. And when it's working overtime, it tends to fail us when we need it to fight off an infection. So technically, you can be sick and tired of a bad job. Number two, safety first. Let's make this clear. I'm not advising that you skydive off the mountains while singing My Heart Will Go On. If you must do that, at least pick better music. But if you're always making the safe decision, then you're rarely going to make ones that make you happy. And safe decisions don't even guarantee that you'll be safe in the long run. As John Maynard Keynes said, in the long run, we're all dead. So ask out that girl you like. Try that art class you don't know if you'll be good at. Go on your friend's annual camping trip. And now for the most important sign that the universe sends you when you are on the wrong path. It may seem obvious, but many people actually dismiss it. Number one, exhaustion. Look, I know everyone's always tired in this economy, but if you find yourself constantly deeply tired, and feel like it's a horrifying exercise in endurance to even get out of bed in the morning, something is probably wrong and it's worth looking into. As someone who's been there before, trust me, constant exhaustion and misery are not normal. If you notice that you no longer have the energy that you used to, 
or if you start to notice that you just don't feel motivated to do anything anymore, it's a major red flag. Exhaustion is one of the most obvious signs people show when they are not happy with their lives. So, if you find that you are exhausted literally 24-7, it might be best to consult with a professional to get to the root of why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Now that you know what signs to look for when you're on the wrong path, here are some ways you can try to improve your life when you feel that you are headed down the wrong path. Remember, it takes time for changes to start having an effect on your life. But as long as you stay motivated and determined to make changes, you are on the right track. Number one, think back. What did you want to do with your life as a kid? I mean, if kid you wanted to be a rocket paleontologist fashion designer, maybe don't do that. But you could look into learning more about astronomy or about fashion design. Sometimes your kid self had good ideas that were crushed under the weight of adult socialization and they're worth revisiting. Think back to when you had no worries in the world. Do you remember how you felt? Do you remember the dreams and the aspirations you had? Try to think back about how positive you used to be back then and try to mirror that positivity in your current life. We're not saying to act carefree like a child, but try not to stress about the small things. Everyone goes through stressful experiences in their life and you are no different. When you're stressed, just relax and know it'll all pass. Put more thought into how you're going to grow and achieve in your life instead of worrying about things you can or cannot control. Number two, baby steps. Unless you're in an unsafe situation, please don't do a metaphorical 180 degree wheelie on the road to life because you will metaphorically crash. Take little steps towards a new destination, thinking it through carefully to make sure it's the right one. When you make goals, you have to take steps to achieve those goals and every step you take to reach closer to that goal is a goal in itself. Like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. Success and happiness comes through hard work and dedication. Just stick to your goals. Accomplish those baby steps that help lead you to your goals. And every day, you will get just a little bit closer to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in your life. Number three, correcting course. So maybe you found that your full transition from successful bank exec to professional street mime wasn't as emotionally fulfilling as you expected. That doesn't mean that you need to go back to doing what you were doing that made you miserable. It might mean that you're having some setbacks or it might mean that you need to change course again. That's okay too. It would be nice if the universe put up helpful signposts to tell us when we're going in the wrong direction in life. Like a highway sign telling us not to apply for that job or not to date that person or not to spend that hundred dollars on a pair of Nikes. If only life were that easy, right? In the absence of such obvious signs, we have to look carefully for little ones, you know? The little red flags that show up when you're doing something you know isn't right for you. Like pretending to be someone you're not at a party, wearing clothes you hate, or eating an entire box of pizza in one serving, although frankly, that last one is probably just indigestion. The point is, if we pay attention to what we're really feeling and experiencing, sometimes we can notice when we're making a bad decision before we even make it. The eight ways to tell when you're headed in the wrong direction from this video should help you get back on the right track. Just know that you're not alone and that everyone goes through situations in life where they steer off course. It's all about how we handle these situations and what we do when we get blown off course. Our reactions to these types of situations can make or break our character. So if you want to head in the right direction, consider making some lifestyle changes. You won't regret it. What are some of the ways to start realizing you're making wrong decisions? What do you do to improve your life when this happens to you? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.